Hey, how's it going everybody? So it's finally happened and we've gotten the Krampus costume and someone has been quite quick to limit break and my god, those stats are insane. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow, I don't even believe that. 1,066 defense and almost 1,900 HP. Holy crap. So the best things about this new costume, four turn taunt, um, a little bit of a downgrade to the defense here. It's only 50%, can't get up to 94% like it could before, but it's also four turns. And you got the Black Knight attack buff that can go up to 145%, and that's for four turns as well. Whereas Black Knight is only three, so that fourth turn makes it that much more likely that you do max out that buff and it gives you one extra turn to be able to utilize it. So it's, I think, a lot better than just a, you know, 33% increase over the uh, standard three turns that we're used to seeing. And then lastly, Rogue Class. So he's taunting and has a decent enough chance to, to evade and take no damage whatsoever. So crazy good um so let's see what it looks like in action okay so that's the interesting thing about deciding on emblem paths and stats and all that this is a decently strong green stack um i think they're all going to be under a thousand attack okay he's pretty high but the other two under a thousand attack whereas like frig for example 1150 so it's a it's not a super song super strong green stack is what i'm trying to say but we still took away more than half of his health with three tiles it does mean that you'll need six to kill for a stack like that which is quite a lot but um so maybe that does add an extra tile. I'm not sure if before... I highly doubt, actually, that before Krampus was five tiles, and now he's six. So that's the thing to consider, which is it's kind of hard to decide that. Um, that being, will these stat increases add an extra tile uh, to what it takes to kill them? And I'd say in the case of, of the limit break here, the answer is no. So was it worth it? Maybe not my favorite candidate because the stat increase for the limit break is not enough if that's all you're getting, right? So anyways, wanted to add that there. So I have a few options. I can make this purple match by dragging this to the right, which puts a green in this selected tile space. If I then make this yellow match by dragging it down, then I'll have a green, another green match that I can make, which means eventually, um, or in a couple turns, I'll have my three green matches. So since I'm going for the third here, I think I think that's the right decision. And we just got to make sure that we get there before Krampus. Okay, so this is the spot where ordinarily I would kill him. For testing purposes, I'm thinking about killing Frigg. But since she is also a rogue, there's a high chance of her evading as well. I guess we'll take that chance. Not a high chance, but there is a chance. So what is it for rogues? 20% when you have them at at least 15 nodes. All right, so now his defense goes up to 
almost 1900, which is crazy. So let's see, with a 1900 defense, but only 235 HP, will three green tiles kill him? I would think yes. Typically they do around, I don't know, 350 to 400 something damage. So um, let me just think before I kill him if I've demonstrated everything that I want to. So we know what evade looks like on rogues. So you don't really need to see that in action. Um, what we'll, what we can show next that I still might not survive is this four turns of attack boost that these dangerous heroes have. With Morel about to fire, Liz not too far behind, but they have a heal coming. Um, so yeah, I think I have. So let's see what three does here. Okay, I dropped it to about 200. Still pretty effective. Um, so that's the thing, is that with his old defense buff, I don't believe that that would have, um, would have killed him. So he did take a bit of a hit there, but I think it's improvements all around. Going Even just going from the... Um, even just going from the Sorcerer class to the Rogue class is a huge improvement. So yeah, if you got him, consider yourself very lucky. Um, and one synergy, thinking about this a little bit, one synergy that I really like for him is Zircon. And at first... It doesn't seem like the best idea, maybe. But if you have a level 11 troop for Zircon and a level 23 troop for Krampus, they're both going to fire in nine tiles. Zircon gives, um, gives a defense boost. It can't be dispelled. So suddenly we're now getting... Um, suddenly it's reminiscent of the non-costume defense buff but it's lower however every time he gets hit it scales up so it's kind of like replacing it starts a little bit lower at that second charge compared to where the non-costume krampus would have started but it is essentially the same thing it's undispellable increased defense that scales up um i think the middle charge on Zircon is for three turns. I'm not positive. So that's one downside is that it will go away. Um, but if you're using it on offense, you should be able to time that well enough where you can eat those specials. And again, still a rogue, still has the chance to evade. You can also add a dodge hero to your team if that's something that you are concerned about. Um, if you're concerned about that, you know, working as well as you'd like it to. So, uh, we'll finish the raid here, but yeah, a very, a very impressive hero. Um, it's surprising that they went ahead and just made him that much better than Black Knight and that much better than the old version of Krampus. They're kind of going crazy with the taunt heroes lately. So that's surprising, but yeah, super good hero. Uh, this is one so I talked about in a previous video that uh, it looks like this was in the video for Penulite, the new gargoyle hero, the yellow one. Um, it might not be out yet at the time of me releasing this one. I'm not sure what order I'm going to do them in, but... Um, I mentioned this idea that they seem to be releasing super strong heroes at low percentages. Krampus is about four times higher of a percentage than Penulite was. Um, so there's a difference there. But yeah, I also talked about how releasing heroes that are stronger on offense and not very good on defense 
is a good strategy because you don't have every person in the world using them on defense or as many people as possible. And like with Tulare and Vela, too many people were using them on um, defense. And then it becomes this really annoying thing where you're like, ah, oh, this hero is so unbeatable and blah, 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 blah. They're really hard to play against. And then, you know, the data reflects that as well. And then they have to make a change. Krampus is going to be super good on offense, but he's also going to be incredible on defense, especially in rush attack. He's going to be on every elite rush attack team because, um, I mean, him and him and Ludwig, but he has strong advantages um, because you don't have to run two purples next to each other with your Alfred tank. So yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what they would nerf if they did. Maybe bring things down to three turns. So that seems like a possibility because he's going to be so good offensively and defensively. So anyways, that's that. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please hit that like button and subscribe to Quick Clicks to support the channel. Uh, extra points for rhyming. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.